Shabbat Shalom everyone. This week it is going to be Shabbat Parshat Pekudei. It will be the second parsha which we're going to read. Naturally it's a double header of Vayakel and Pekudei this awesome Shabbat. And very interesting, these two parshiot of Vayakel and Pekudei are actually very very similar to the parshiot uh, in the middle of Shemot of Teruma and Tetzaveh. Why is that? Because naturally it talks all about the different vessels of the tabernacle and the different uh, bigadim of the high priest or, or a priest would wear the Kohen or the Kohen Gadol respectively and very interesting I want to concentrate on in this week's parish of Pukudei the eight different garments there was that the Kohen Gadol wear four of these garments a regular Kohen would wear also and the garment I want to speak about is something called the Me'il what is a Me'il? that is a coat it's a robe which the Kohen Gadol would wear and very very interesting uh, draping down this specific uh, coat there would be two different items consecutively that will be uh, dangling down it with many of each of these items that would consist of bells and pomegranates of uh, of a pa'amonim and rimonim respectively here is my son over here say hi to everyone hi. I'm just seeing the video yeah so it's interesting so what does this uh, comprise of friends so the bells were dangling long and with the pomegranates and there's machlok between two different commentators one being the uh, the first commentator being rashi and the second one being the ramban okay rashi would actually hold that structure the order of these bells and these pomegranates was one bell one pomegranate one bell one pomegranate through the circumference of the bottom part of the robe however the the, the other commentator of the ramban he would actually hold that this uh, woven this wool a style of pomegranates will actually uh, be sewn in into the bells and that's the way it came inside and this interesting they say that these different uh, garments of the Kohen or the Kohen Gadol they represented different midot different character traits over here and uh, very interesting is that with this coat itself these two different things the bells and the pomegranates they signified different things the bells were there especially for the coin gadol it was there to be making a noise when the coin gadol was working in the holy of holies on the holiest day of the year of yom kippur it was making a dangling noise a ringing noise constantly so what does that symbolize the rabbi said that uh, this dangling this ringing sound it shows awakeness it shows uh, to be the alistrity someone should have upon on their day-to-day -day uh, workings maybe to bring teshuva to grow potentially with the avodat hashem it might be or to improve one's characteristics or to improve uh, one's business dealings with the way they work about it and stuff like that that is one of the things that it symbolizes these bells us in order to improve for us to grow in our characteristics and everything we need to be however the pomegranates the those different items what does that symbolize so pomegranates over there which are next to the bells or inside the bells is a characteristic of stillness why stillness because sometimes we need to contemplate is what we're doing is that correct or not is that the right thing we should be doing we need to have a reflection sometimes we shouldn't just be going all out the whole time which is very very important to grow uh, especially uh, it's a uh, characteristic in the Torah sometimes we need this stillness to uh, reflect and contemplate is this the right thing we're doing is it going in the right direction are we uh, doing enough we've got to review our lives and all of that and that's the two things that the Kohen Gadol has draping down on him in his coat while he is about to do the avoda in the Mishkan or, or the Bet Mikdash when he's on Yom Kippur service to remind those two character traits are very very crucial in Judaism growing you know to be constantly working and everything else but reflecting also but one interesting thing is that none of these uh, two items symbolize decreasing because in the Torah in Judaism we don't believe in decreasing we should always be growing always be getting better and also reflecting at the same time so guys i hope you're going to have a, a, a shabbat full of growth and full of reflection also and uh, have an awesome one shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom to everyone. okay take care enjoy bye